to our Tuesday morning beginner workout. I am Dave. Today we will be using this resistance loop. Uh, I just have a light one today. I would classify this one, as I said in the description, as a intro level workout. The first round might be a little bit difficult, but I believe everyone can do it uh, at all ability levels. We'll start with just our simple arm swings as I continue to talk. So I'm going palm up, crossing my body, going palm down, and alternating which arms on top. Uh, so we have two groups, four exercises in each. We're going to complete all reps. We are going to go for uh, three rounds on each. So it will end up being, you know, you do, that would be 12. We're doing about 24 sets in the 30 minutes, but the sets are relatively easy. That was way too hard to do that math this early in the morning. Uh, so we'll push our hands back, curl our hands into the, in, in front of our legs in this forward fold. And then I'll come up, pull back on my left fingers, arms overhead, hips to the left, lean to the right. Hips to the right, lean to the left. Go one more time here, curl on down. Pull back on those right fingers, arms overhead. Left, lean to the right. Lean to the left. Okay, now we'll go into some floor sweeps, continuing with the hamstring and lower body. We're going to do a big sweep. So I have my chair out. We're going to be using our chair for a couple stretches coming up. So my front leg is straight and I alternate. Toes pointed up and then I just do a big sweep, hinging from the hip. We'll take a seat on the edge of our chair. We're going to do some dynamic tensions because uh, we'll be using our glutes a lot in the first group. So I'm going to take my left leg, drop it over my right, slight weight forward, and then you just switch sides. Once you do that slight lean forward, get a bit of a stretch, you can switch. So if you need any modifications, if you don't have a resistance loop, I should have mentioned this earlier, just go ahead and type in the chat or leave something in the comments. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going as per usual. Or maybe I'll do a round of what I would do in this that scenario there. Just so everybody has a fair chance and maybe somebody is a little bit shy, doesn't want to comment. So I'll do that on the second round of each uh, of each each group. Okay. We're gonna stand up. I'm gonna right leg forward, right hand on the chair, left hand on the inside of my right knee. I'm just gonna turn it open up. This feels really good in the morning. Tell you that much for free. We're so stiff when we wake up. We always usually do our frontal and sagittal plane stretches, which is forward and back, side to side. But we rarely twist. So it's just nice to add that in. Side. After this stretch, we'll be get, getting into the workout, so have your water prepared, get your loop and your chair ready. So the first group, I don't need to really show any modifications because you can just do them without the loop. The, the resistance doesn't matter, this is just an added uh, sort of benefit. Use your chair to get seated and put this on. You really don't want it to roll. The lower this is on your leg as well, so if I keep this at my ankles, it'll make the exercises much more difficult, and if I have it near my knees, it makes it a bit easier. So I like to put it above my knees, the other side of 
thing that you have to watch out for is that it doesn't twist up on you. And that's why I like to take it to the chair is because then I can adjust it and make sure it's nice and flat throughout. And one thing you want to do uh, before you, you use these, I should have mentioned, is just check for any rips or tears. You don't want that thing snapping on you uh, mid-workout there. So I just have those above my knees there. So our, our loop squat, you can join me. We'll make this the first round. My feet are wider than hip width. Chest is lifted. You can use your chair if you'd like. We're just going to sit down into our chair position and stand back up with our chest. If you're a little bit more advanced, you probably don't need your chair. And then we want to make sure that we're keeping our knees and our toes pointed out as we squat. So make sure you're doing that. Fighting the loop from collapsing. There's four. We'll continue on. Chest stays lifted, sitting onto our chair, stand up. The way you can imagine to keep your chest up is imagine you're holding that, that baby, right? You can't use your arms to get up. You have to keep your chest lifted. A little one more here. And ten. So our side steps, again, you could do without the resistance band. As we just get into this position, we go, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So with this one, again, it's just a slight hinge in the hips. Our glute bridge, we're going to be on the ground for. Our next two exercises will actually be on our back for. Make sure I'm in frame here. So my hands are at my side, my feet are close to my bum. I'm keeping my legs, good like this, uh, hip width apart, and then I just lift up and go back down. And again, I'm just fighting the resistance from my knees from collapsing in, just to add a little bit of extra challenge. So go all the way up, and then just barely tap down. While still in this position, we're, we'll do our reverse crunch. Same sort of rule with keeping the knees out. We'll come in, tap the heels down, bring the knees towards the chest. Keep that back flat on the ground, hands flat on the ground, head flat on the ground. The only thing that should be moving is your lower body bringing your heels to the ground and then your knees to the chest, all while fighting that band from collapsing. And one more. Yeah. And I just like to make it as a point to sort of let my knees touch together and collapse to give myself a break because I don't want to have to take off this band a bunch of times. And like I said, I know uh, I said I would make that second uh, round without the band, but Really, the modifications don't change these, or not having a band doesn't really change these exercises. It just changes the level of resistance. So uh, I'm not going to show that, but I will show it on group two. All right, so that's probably enough break, enough of me talking. We'll just hop right back into it. A little, it'll be a little quicker this time through, not too much. So just remember, feet are apart, about hip width. I'm not letting that band collapse. Chest stays lifted as I sit into my chair and stand up. We're doing 10 of those, that's one. Why do we do this with the band? And, you know, I said it is intro. And you're probably starting to feel it a lot in your glutes and in your legs. I'm going to show you this way this time. 
is because one, two, because we only have 30 minutes and we still want to get a good workout in. Just because your beginner or intro doesn't mean you can't challenge yourself a little bit. Uh, I think that's called there. We'll go into our glute bridge. Again, everything is flat on the ground. Feet are close to my bum. I push my hips to the sky and slowly lower, barely tapping the ground. And then I don't let that band collapse. I keep tension on it the whole time. And that's going to keep your glutes engaged. Two more. Good. Go into our reverse crunch. Keep tension on that band. Bring the knees towards the chest. Tap the heels to the ground. Keep tension on that band. We're halfway there. So I go at a natural tempo. Uh, where my natural seems to be a little slower than a lot of people's. Or, you know, I will say a lot slower, a little slower. Um, so as long as you're finishing around the same time as me, that's good. If you take a little bit longer, finish a little bit faster, that's fine too. Um, but just try to adjust accordingly so you're not, you know, still doing your squats when I'm finishing up. And... Or, you're, or I'm not doing my squats while you're finishing up sort of thing. So go ahead. Go ahead and, go ahead and grab some water. Sometimes in the morning I can't speak, and that's okay. Because sometimes the rest of the day I can't speak either. All right. Going into our squats. Third and final round on this, on, on this uh, group. There's one. Chest stays lifted. Sit into your chair. Stand back up. Keep tension on that band. And again, you don't need to be using the chair. I'm just trying to demo this as sort of the uh, intro level beginner. If you find that the chair is too deep, you can always make your platform a little bit higher, right? You don't even need to use a platform, right? If you just can do quarter squat, you can just do quarter squat. I'm just going to do one more here, even though that's 11. All right, let me go into our side step. I'll show you six from the front. Again, I'm hinging from the hip, chest stays lifted. I'm just keeping my arms up. You could get your arms moving if you'd like. But not necessary at all, as long as the chest stays lifted. All right, into our glute bridge. So you really start to feel those. If I would've made those anymore, that would've been very challenging, I think. Okay, I'm going to give you just a side shot of this one this time. So then you understand that there's tension on the band. And this gives the most information, I think. Breathe. Halfway there. And 12. Good. First crunches. Tension stays on the band. Knee towards the chest. Heels on the ground. That's what. And right there. Okay. So we can take the band off. It's nice to take it off while you're on the ground. I'll show you what group two is. I'll probably demo some of these exercises before we get into it. So single arm row and single arm push. Uh, I know it might sound silly, but our 
uh, opposites in the way that, you know, the force that we're directing, but also the way we anchor. So for the pull, I'm going to anchor it out with the band around my thumb. Other arm, so the, it's around my thumb, that arm is straight. Other arm is almost drawing that, that uh, bow back. So we'll do eight per side. With the push, well, what side is it best to show you the anchor on? With the push, I'll anchor it with my right, nice and tight to my rib cage, and then I'll push out with my chest lifted, just like so. All right, tricep extension. I can anchor it from this position and kick back. So chest stays lifted, and then I just straighten out my arm. Really doesn't matter, like you could anchor it a little higher. I find that actually a little bit better. Anchor it a little closer towards your shoulder. And on the bicep curl, we anchor at our hip and we'll come we'll come across and we'll do a we'll do a cross body hammer curl there. Now we can just do a regular bicep curl. That's fine. Okay. So we'll do each exercise switching sides. We won't do like oh the left side. We'll give you a bit of a break there. So we'll start. I'm starting with my left hand being the active arm, so that's the one that's working. So I'm anchoring with my right, pull back. We're going to do eight of those. There's one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And then we switch. Again, I'm, I draw my elbow back. That's sort of the key to this is because if I focus on pulling my elbow past my body, I'm more going to engage my back muscles rather than if I'm focusing on, maybe I'm pulling the band instead, then you start to use more of uh, you know, forearm muscles. You start to get bad form. So I'm gonna anchor with my right here and push with my left. So again, I'm just anchoring it like so and pushing it. I think that's actually the best angle. Switch. Do this side again because I think. And I'm never going above shoulder height with this. Just sort of punching forward. And the tricep extension. And I'm going to hold the anchor up here in my shoulder. And then just keep that elbow pinned close to my body. And it doesn't move up or down, you see. If I want to make it a little harder, I just need to raise my arm a little bit. We'll switch sides. Sort of loop it however it's comfortable for you with holding it. I find around my thumbs very comfortable. Good. And then our bicep curls. Again, we start from the hip, the opposite side, and then we just come up. Try not to allow. See, my palm wants to turn in. Try not to allow that to happen. Try to keep your palm up. Switch sides. I like to find where is the best camera angle for you guys to see everything. I'm still standing up nice and straight. Good, and there's our eight. Take a bit of a break. Take some things out. I find, you know, these exercises are, are nice because you can keep this band at your desk, right, and to do a couple rows or curls or whatever. Uh, even to throw it around your legs, you know, above the knees for five minutes and do that first round. Uh, it's a great way to add some exercise into your day. All right. Jabbering, we'll go right into our rows. I'm starting with my left as the active arm. Really doesn't matter what side you start with as long as you're doing both sides. 
you know, this is all upper body, so I need everyone to do both sides. So if they're ever my, uh, could, you know, rowboat robo partner, they're not rowing in circles on me. As likely as that scenario is that we are rowboat partners. I like to think it's about 80% chance that'll happen. Drawing that elbow back. It's like we're notching the bow. Eight. Go into our push. Bang into the side and push. You guys can't see that. How I'm anchoring. So it's almost like you've switched up the anchor uh, position with the end pull position. We'll switch sides. Good. And then we have our tricep extension. So keeping it close to my shoulder, and then I'm just bringing it to my side. So you can notice how my elbow does not move. It stays affixed close to my side. I wasn't really thinking through my uh, color coordination here. Oh, got to actually switch sides. There we go. So hopefully you can make out where this band is going. Bringing my shoulders back and down. I just like to fix that every once in a while. If I notice my shoulders are punching forward, we'll just do one more. Our bicep curl, pin it up the side, keeping my chest up, elbow pin. Elbow is always pinned on bicep and tricep exercises for the most part because then we use that upper arm muscle rather than our shoulder. Let's do one more, switch sides. Bring the shoulders back. Okay, shake it out. We got one more round, then we'll stretch, then we're home free. This, one, this workout's feeling pretty good. Uh, I really enjoy this one again because it's a simple piece of equipment. You guess it's on Amazon, find it at Walmart. Any fitness store carries them uh, because they're light, they're cheap, and they're effective. All right, into our single arm rows. Feet per side, drawing my elbow back. If you could add any exercise into your day from this uh, workout, especially if you're seated for a long period of time, whether it's at home or at work, for whatever purpose, watching TV, driving, this is the exercise to add because it trains those muscles that get weak and stretched over time from sitting. Push. Just so you see from the front, actually. Shows you enough on the side. just in case you want a reference because I didn't really show you from the front for the full because it's just like that. Okay, that's our tricep extensions. It just shows too that you don't need all this fancy, you know, thousand dollar equipment to exercise, right? You can do effective exercises with uh with just this cheap band i gotta do a couple extra there um we'll go to our bicep curls the other nice thing you need that nice quick pump before uh before 
a photo shooter or whatever, you have one of these in your car, you're, you're good to go. Not that I do that. You have to you have to believe me on that. I do not do that. But if you wanted to do that, I would not I would not judge. If you have that opportunity and that knowledge available to you now, you can use it however you please. And we're done. So uh, let's try to do some for you to stay standing. I'm going to show you the child's pose from a standing position. So I'm going to use my couch. I'm going to grab onto the arm of it, push my hips back, and then just hold on while continuing to push my hips back. Arms are in line with my ears. I'm just looking down. You want to stretch your lats, your back. I wanted to show you this one band stretch too. So we're going to go from a seated position with our band. I'm just going to put my band around my foot. And as I sit down, I can lean back, point my toe towards my shin and stretch out my hamstring. Now I find this one more effective on the ground, but I wanted to show you, you know, you can do this one from seated as well. Use the edge of your chair and lift up. It's a little bit harder from a posture perspective, but you do get more, I find, of a stretch in your calf and your hamstring. I'll we'll switch sides again. I'll show you. You can lean right back into this. I don't find this as effective, but, you know, it still is a stretch, right? And that's the thing. A stretch doesn't need to be perfect, but just a little bit of a stretch can break up sort of uh, a, sit, a seated session or give your body a chance to relax a little bit and again by a step more closer to the edge I find that a more intense stretch All right, we can set this down we're actually going to go back to the pigeon pose here I'm going to cross my left leg over my right and why I'm going back to this uh, position is just because when we had that band on our knee for so long, it was really working these gluteal muscles. Um, so we want to make sure that we stretch those out. And these muscles do get tight throughout our day as well, um, but they also get very weak because we're, we're seated. And that's why, you know, we like to strengthen them as well as stretch them. Switch sides. We'll do our door frame stretch after this, and then you're home free. Just cross the leg over slightly and forward. That's all there is to this. I'm seated on the edge of my chair again. Okay, so we'll stand up, go to our door frame stretch. And I really want you to focus on going palm up today. And why I'm going palm up today, while well, I go into this door frame stretch, so my arm is outstretched on the door frame. So it is straight, extended, and turning to the top of my torso. Feel a stretch in my chest and my shoulders. And why we are going palm up today is because you'll actually get a bit of a stretch of the bicep, which we work today as well. Some people don't have tight biceps. Some people, you know, use their biceps a little bit too much and they are very tight. So it's nice to just have this modification in there where we can target some multiple muscles. And we'll switch sides. All chest, arm is extended. I know you can't really see me too well, um, but my arm is essentially like this on the door frame, and I'm just twisting to the top. You can do this on a wall. If you have an open door frame, you can just walk through with your arms extended and keep walking until you feel a stretch. That works too. All right, and that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you didn't like using the loop, let me know. If you did like it, also let me know. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything in the workout or any of the wellness goings on, uh, feel free to send me a message. I'll be happy to do my best to answer it. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you on Thursday for our HIT workout.